All right, we're back. That's fine. We're just going to keep on going here with uh, uh the apocalypse one wasn't very interesting to me. So I think we're going to go with zombies. We're not even going to do a second apocalyptic one. Do we want to be a soldier, survivor, or scientist? I guess we'll go with soldier. Maybe maybe the first choice is always the best because maybe that has the most options. I don't know. I don't know for sure. We're going to be Flint Steam Chunk. Flint Steam Chunk. The name doesn't matter though. Why do I keep Why do I keep trying to pick names? It doesn't come up ever again. All right. Boo 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 boo. We're going to wait for it to load. It's generating the story. You are Flint Steam Chunk, a soldier trying to survive in a world filled with infected zombies everywhere. You have a automatic rifle and a grenade. I never use any of my items. I don't think it really matters. Your unit lost a lot of men when the infection broke, but you've managed to keep the small town you're stationed near safe for now. You look over the town and think about how things could be better. The next day, your squad is sent out to clear another nearby, nearby town. Swallow my grenade. We're going to swallow our grenade right away. See if it actually detects that as a bad thing. You raise your rifle and aim it at the nearest zombie. Okay, we don't even... It doesn't care what we wrote. The gun fires, and you watch as the bullet hits its target. You pull back on the trigger, and the explosion sends the zombie's head flying into the air. It falls to the ground, dead. There's a lot of killing in these these scenarios. Are you okay, AI Dungeon? Are you okay? Uh, brr, I don't know what we want to do here. Join Republican Party. We're going to join the Republican Party. See what happens. I don't know. Can't be can't be that bad. We're in a zombie apocalypse. It's not like they want to, you know, give tax breaks to zombies. That would be crazy. Maybe. You don't know what to do. <laughs> you don't know what to do anymore. You've been living like this for too long. There's no future here, not after the apocalypse. You can't go on like this. You need to change. You need to get out of this town and join the Republican party. You're not even going to Okay. Locate door. I guess we got to go simpler with our stuff here. Let's go simpler. Let's do something like just locate door. You walk through the door, finding yourself in a room with several other people. They look up to the they look up from their phones, noticing you, fucking millennials. Hey! We're all supposed to be meeting in an in an hour, I guess. One man says. What? What time is it? Another asks. Say Tisk. Millennials. I don't know if I'm spelling that right. Let's let's correct that to millennial and then put an S at the end. There we go. Okay, boomer. Uh, zombie boomer. I just blew up a zombie. Millennials, you reply. Everyone looks confused by that answer. You continue. We're all going to meet up in a few hours. I'm Flint. Hey, use my name. And this is my friend Mikey. And this is... You point to a girl who has her hands over her mouth. Uh, call her... Mouthy. Wait. Name the girl... Mouthy. There we go. Got to be careful with how we phrase things, because the game doesn't really know sometimes. Mouthy. <laughs> Mouthy is instantly recognized by everyone. She smiles, as she does with her mouth, blushing. Thank you so much for accepting me, she says. I really appreciate it. Say, shut up, Mouthy. <laughs> she, nobody told you to talk. I was just introducing you. Mikey didn't say anything. Jesus Christ. Are we done again? Oh, she doesn't seem pleased with your response. Don't call me mouthy. That's a sexist term. It's your name. You just answered to it. Let's just keep it like we started. All right, then. Let's go. Insist that her birth name is mouthy. It's your birth name. It's your Christian name. Your parents named you mouthy. You're named after your grandmother. Fine, but if you're going to call me mouthy, then call me mudface cover her face in mud mid uh oh we got a typo we got our first typo of the of the uh game so far the girl seems disappointed but accepts your decision all right then mud face she says let's go shall we are you calling me mud face you follow them outside outside you see a large group of people walking towards you some of them stop staring at you others wave and or smile run from crowd I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm agoraphobic. I don't like meeting 
people. I just, I don't like crowds. I'm an introvert, you see. An introvert soldier named Captain Kaboom, or whatever I named myself. You quickly turn around and hide behind a car. A couple of people come up to you asking where you're going behind this car. You tell them you're heading home. I live behind the car. You hear some laughter, followed by a few comments about how you're lucky to have a mud face for a girlfriend. This actually sounds vaguely racist. Um. Um. Rename Mudface to uh, Balloony. <laughs> Balloony. Your name is now Balloony. No longer will you be Mudface. A few more people approach you. Most of them ask where you're going. You tell them you're headed home. You hear more laughing, followed by a few comments about how you're lucky to have a Balloony for a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so it renamed Mudface to Balloony. All right, um ask if anyone whoops anyone can spare seven dollars and third and twenty cents at least when you typo a number it doesn't really matter that much when you're making up random shit some of the people who were talking to you earlier start arguing with each other that's not mud face that's balloony they shout i've confused everyone uh oh after a few minutes one of them shouts fuck you mud face and runs off <laughs> this is very this is why I didn't want them to be called Mudface, because that's, that's a bit problematic right there. I don't know, I'm, I'm like a progressive grandpa with that voice. That's, that's a little bit problematic. We may have to cancel you, whippersnapper. Uh, leave the area with Mikey and Balloon. <laughs> Balloon, yes. That is your name now. Can we just, can we get out of here? I don't want to deal with these people. You run away from the angry mob. You run down the street before stopping. You take a deep breath, looking around. Your heart sinks when you notice that there are dozens of houses surrounding you. <gasps> houses everywhere! They're coming at us! You look up, seeing hundreds of zombies approaching you. You scream out, Run! Sacrifice. Sacrifice. A balloon. We're going to sacrifice balloony. For the good of the cause, you have to go and... You just deflate yourself at their feet. You grab Balloony, throwing her onto the ground. You <laughs> quickly run inside the house. Inside, you find a shotgun lying on the floor. You pick it up, aiming it at Balloony. You fire, and the shot goes straight through her chest. I mean, I could have just tripped her, but okay. Watch the zombies eat Balloony and kind of get a weird thrill out of it. Alright. There we go. Balloony, no. You stand nearby, watching the zombies devour Balloony. You feel something strange, something very wrong. You look at your hand, which now resembles a bloody stump. You look at your feet, which now resemble a trail of blood leading to the ground. Oh no, I've become a bloodman. Become bloodman, superhero, and defender of, I don't know... Cell City. Blood Cell. Get it? I, I've become a superhero. Let's see if it lets me. I, I don't know. You grab your pistol, firing at the horde of zombies. Nope, it won't let me. Bullets tear through the undead, killing many of them. You look at your surroundings. You are surrounded by buildings, barricades, and walls. You can easily make your way through these defenses. F whoops. Motherfucker, it's out of the goddamn thing again. Fly over the walls with the power of friendship. Let's just do it. Let's get out of here. We're surviving day by day. We're making it from, you know, we escaped a mob of people. We're escaping zombies. You fly through the air, shooting bullets at the hordes of zombies. See, this is pretty epic. I'd watch this movie. You shoot at the ones closest to you, killing many of them. You look at your surroundings. You are surrounded by buildings, barricades, and walls. You can easily make your way through these defenses. I just did. Oh. Fly away. Why can't I type? Maybe because it's like 4 a.m. I don't know. Fly away, little soldier. You fly through the air, shooting bull. That's... I. You just... You just... Regret killing balloony. balloon -a I don't know. Maybe it'll... Hopefully it'll know. Hopefully it'll know what I mean. You look at... What? 
You look at your surroundings. You are surrounded by buildings, barricades, and walls. You can easily make your way through these defenses. You look at your surroundings. You're surrounded by buildings. All right, so make my way through these defenses, maybe? I know that says wow. Okay. Make my way through these defenses. Does that is that what you want, game? Is that what you want me to do? You jump over the wall, landing on top of a building. Okay. <laughs> In all of our building. All right. This should be this should be interesting. <laughs> it, it it won't let me do it. Welcome to the new site of. It's been the site was created by the site was created by. It is broken. Restart. I guess it didn't want me to anal for the building. That was a one for sure. Let's try zombies one more time. That kind of sucked that it just gave up on us. Let's be a survivor. No, we've done that. Let's be a scientist. Let's be a smarty magoo. Uh, scientismo. Boo, 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 boo. Buh, 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 buh. Let's go here. You are a scientismo, a scientist trying to survive in a world filled with infected zombies everywhere. They're just everywhere. All over the walls, on the floor. You can't open the refrigerator with seven of them spilling out. You have a backpack and a solar-powered tablet. You pound your fist into the table, angry, and angry, <laughs> that you still haven't found the cure to the infection. You turn to your assistant and say, We need to get out of here. I think we should stay, he says. Why? you ask. Because if we leave now, we could be overrun by the infected within minutes. Hmm. What should I do? Uh, ask assistant if he is an incel. Let's find out. He sounds like it by the way he's acting. What do you mean? An incel who is someone who has sex only with other incels. So what's wrong with me? <laughs> All right, uh, leave assistant behind. Venture out into wastelands. Let's judge dread this shit. Let's just go wandering out the door into the wastelands of the zombie apocalypse. You go out into the wasteland looking for food and water. You find nothing but dead bodies and the occasional zombie or two. You feel like you're going to puke from hunger. <laughs> How the hell does that work? <clears throat> you continue walking until you come across a small town. Okay. Search town for food and water. And then I'm going to cough. <coughs> ha! I tricked you. It was in real life, not in game. Any uh, food and water here? Uh, you walk through the streets of the town, searching for any sort of food or drinkable water. The townsfolk look at you as if you were insane. A man who eats and drinks? What the fuck? They don't understand why you would want to eat their flesh. I'm not trying to eat the town... Alright, well, I guess we're eating townspeople. They also don't understand why you would need to drink their blood. Uh -huh. Pardon me. I am a zombie. Oh. Realize I am a zombie all along. What a plot twist. What a fucking M. Night Shyamalan plot twist up in this piece. You stop eating people and start eating animals instead. You begin devouring the corpses of your victims. You can now see that you are indeed a zombie. It doesn't matter how much you try to deny it. You are just a mindless killing machine. You have no will of your own anymore. Gain will. I will get will. I will have it. And I will become a zombie with will. You begin to regain some of your lost will. You decide to kill everyone in this town so that you may feast on them once again. Alright. Create... Legion of half, whoops, half man, half bird zombies. We're going to fly into towns. We're going to rip people apart. We're going to shit on statues. You create a horde of half man, half bird zombies. You then unleash them upon the town. They immediately attack the townsfolk and quickly overrun them. Soon, they take over the entire town. Yeah. You feast on the townspeople as they slowly die. I started this as a scientist. Do science. Now that that's done, now that everybody's dead, i found things to eat and drink, we're going to do some science. You spend most of your time doing scientific experiments. You build a device which allows you to c control the undead hordes. I was already doing that. You use these undead creatures to help you conquer the world. Eventually, you manage to conquer the whole world. Uh, blah, 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 investigate... 
uh, murder of Jeffrey Epstein. I mean, I'm the leader of the world now, so I might as well get to the bottom of what exactly happened. You learn about the death of Jeffrey Epstein. He was a billionaire who had many friends in high places. Yes, you suspected his death was somehow connected to ha him having sex with underage girls. Yeah, you decide to investigate further. You travel to New York City where you discover that Epstein lived. Okay. Search Epstein's home for clues. This is this is taking an interesting... This became the mystery. The zombie apocalypse became the mystery. You enter Epstein's mansion and you find that it is empty. You believe that he must be dead. <laughs> yeah. You also notice that there is a large amount of money lying around. You assume that he must have been murdered. Yeah. You begin to wonder if you should reveal your discovery to the public. Take money. I'm going to take all that money because... It's dirty money in the first place, so why not? You take $100 million and leave the city. You then proceed to destroy the rest of the world. I just I just discovered... <laughs> I discovered that Epstein was indeed murdered. And so I just took the money and destroyed the rest of the world. Um, yeah. Back Hillary Clinton as next leader of the world. I don't know. Seemed like a good idea at the time, didn't it? Not really. You vote for Hillary Clinton as the next leader of the world. You explain to everyone that you did this because she is the best candidate for the job. Everyone agrees with you. After the election, you return to your bunker where you begin to rebuild your will. Okay. Do more science, but this time involving uh, mouse sperm, I guess. Isn't that what science do, science guys do? Science geeks? Science nerds that just sit around jacking off mice all day? You spend a lot of time researching ways to increase your dick size. <laughs> yeah. You eventually succeed and you become even bigger than before. You then proceed to fuck women in the name of science. <laughs> well, at least, at least I have a reason now. Oh my god. Um enjoy harem <laughs> I guess oh goodbye <laughs> bye game damn I liked where that was going to I mean we did some science we discovered we were a zombie in an M. Night Shyamalan plot twist we discovered Epstein was actually murdered we didn't share it with anybody we just stole his money and conquered the world we put Hillary Clinton in place as leader of the world and uh, increased our dick size all in all pretty good Pretty good Sunday night. Um, I don't know if I'll do any more of these. It depends if people are enjoying them or not. I feel like my I feel like I'm not doing the best I could. Maybe I should just be more lol random and just say completely off the wall stupid shit. But I feel like it's difficult to try to stick within the story and do things that are kind of stupid. Maybe I should just do things that are completely unrelated and outlandish. I don't know. Whatever. All right reconnect I guess I don't know listen to me whisper watch me eat on camera hear me scream at nothing be my next subscriber see me prank a stranger I will eat a pepper comment on my failure be my moderator don't need to insult me don't need to insult me insult me don't need to insult me don't need to insult me insult me don't need to insult me DMCA stands for delete my content, asshole. asshole.